guys, so today I have a video for you guys and it's going to be about hair extensions. As you guys know, I did have ombre red hair before. A lot of people who recently subscribed to me um, did that because of the video where I dyed my hair red ombre. And yeah, I've been actually thinking about doing that again because I cut my hair really short. You know, I actually have some hair in the back here too. But it's so super short and I want to do something with it. I feel like it's so boring. I pretty much cut off everything that was red and then I also had a dyed purple for a while so it was like a reddish purple. I just cut it straight off and then now I have this short hair to work with. But I feel like it's a little bit boring because this is just my natural texture, this is a natural hair color and I want something fun. So I've been thinking about the Kylie Jenner look which was like the ombre teal. But I also am kind of contemplating between just doing a regular um, ombre where I have the really blonde ends or doing the Kylie Jenner look or doing um, a red ombre like I had before. And also I've been thinking about doing like a really cute purpley pink color. I don't know. I can't choose. If you guys want to help me choose, let me know down below on my Instagram or Facebook or anything. I need help. And to be honest, I've also been missing my long hair. I used to have really, really long hair. And I've had that for, I don't know, as long as I can remember. Probably for about six or seven years because I've just been growing it straight out and just trimming the ends. But now I just pretty much cut off a lot and it's kind of um, strange because I miss having the long hair to deal with. But it's so much easier to handle and everything. But of course there are times where I want that long, luscious, beautiful hair. So I actually wanted to show you guys something. I wanted to show you guys how I work with extensions in my hair. I actually have never used extensions. So this was like a whole new concept to me. So when I wear these extensions, I just feel like my hair is so much longer, so much thicker. And also I get to do a little bit of the fun hair color in this. So they are red, so I get the kind of red ombre effect in that hair. So I'm going to show you guys how I apply my extensions and then also how I style them and wear them. So the extensions that I have are these really, really super bright red extensions and these are by Easy Wake. I'm going to show you guys the packaging. It comes in a package like this. Um, you guys can see that's the name of the brand. It's called Easy Wake. And this is 100% Remy Human hair. It's really great quality. It just comes in a long pack like this. So you can just pack it straight in again um, just to keep it so it doesn't get dusty and dirty and get ruined. So for the type, these are the Red Funky. I got the 24 inch. You can see they are super long because I miss my long hair. And also, like even if you have long hair, these would blend perfectly into it. They're kind of heavy because it's a lot of hair and it's nine pieces. This is nine pieces of hair. So there are four longer ones which have a thicker band. And then there are a couple of these ones right here where it's just one clip. And they all have clips on them so they're super easy to put on. They stay in really well and you don't feel like you're going to have to like, I don't know, redo your hair like every 20 minutes. So yeah, let's move on. I'll show you guys how I put on my extensions and also how they look when I style them. Applying your extension is actually quite easy. What you want to do is part off your hair into two sections. I create a top section and a bottom section and then you're going to start at the bottom grabbing all of your hair except for a little bit of a piece and you're going to attach your hair extension to that. And I'm just putting on the smallest piece just because it's very little hair at the bottom. Then I'm going on and grabbing a wider piece of hair and I'm parting it off and then sectioning that on top of my head. Then I'm grabbing a wider piece of extension and I'm just going to add this straight onto it by clipping it on. And that is pretty much how easy it is. You just want to repeat this step throughout your entire head and you will have your extensions attached. parting it off so I can add the smaller extensions. I'm just doing this so it looks more natural. And this is the finished look with six extension pieces in my hair. To style this beautiful red ombre, I'm going to start off with using some heat protectant. And I'm just spraying this style's heat protectant throughout my entire hair and then I'm brushing it out using a paddle brush. Using a rat tail comb, I'm just going to create a center part and I'm just doing this all the way back as well just so I have even proportions of hair on both sides. Then I'm going to be using my cheese straightening iron to curl my hair 
And how I do this is pretty much just turn the iron um, 180 degrees and then pull it through the hair. And I'm going to continue this motion throughout my entire hair and I'll show you guys the finished result. This is the finished look for the hair extensions. I'm absolutely in love with this. I just think it's so cute. I have been missing my red ombre for so long, but it's so high maintenance. If you guys, if any of you guys have dyed your hair red ombre or red at all, you guys know how high maintenance it is. You have to keep washing your hair really carefully. You have to keep dyeing it and it's so much work. So this is like an easy way out pretty much. So all you have to do is clip in your extensions, go on and curl them, and then you're ready to get out the door. So this is the finished result. I am super happy with it. I think it looks really cool. Actually, it looks like I have um, just some red highlights actually from the bottom here. So I thought that was pretty cool. If you guys want to put in extensions higher up, I guess you can do that too. So you have a couple pieces shining through. Now I did cut these extensions. They are 24 inches. But I did put them on my head and then chop it down to the size that I needed. So I think I did cut off about one or two inches off of them. And then I also trimmed them down so they didn't look as blunt because my haircut is not really blunt. And I wanted it just to blend in a little bit better. Look how long my hair looks. That is so cute. And all of you guys know this is my favorite hairstyle to do. If you guys have seen my signature curls video, I think that's what it's called, um, I can link it somewhere. And then if you guys have seen that, um, you know that I love to do my hair using a straightening iron. I curl my hair using a straightening iron all the time. It's just the easiest way for me to get out the door. I know you guys have been requesting a couple of videos. I am working on a fitness video for you guys. So if you are excited for that, then give me a thumbs up. And yeah, I think that is pretty much it. I hope you guys like this video. And if you guys want to see more hair extension videos or hair tutorials or anything that has to do with hair, let me know because I would love to make new videos. That is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Love you. Mwah. Should I dye it back to red? Yeah? Yeah? No? Yeah? I don't know. And not doing a voiceover? Maybe a little bit of a voiceover? Yeah, maybe. Okay, enough selfies for today. So today I wanted to do a, sh a shitty video. <laughs> wow. And so you come with me. <laughs> for you guys, I'm going to be showing you guys, guys, guys. Sharmuta. make a video today. Oh, really? Oh, what a shock. I, I just, uh, it's so incredible. Whenever I touch it, I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> you mind? Oh. How to put on a <laughs> Show you guys how, I don't know what to say. Self-promotion. Follow me on Instagram and have a happy 4th of July. Love you guys. <laughs>
Ha <laughs> ha